Hello everyone, and welcome to my Duel Today official news channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Paulina uses her phone and laptop in a hospital room while receiving radioactive iodine therapy. Sarah walks up wearing a hazmat suit and hands Abe a handcrafted card. The text says, I love you. Maggie is informed by Constantine at the Karaoke's house that he must depart the country since his visa is about to expire. Maggie maintains that he must be able to stay in some other way. He muses that getting married is his only choice. Maggie offers to have her lawyers investigate since she believes that would raise some red flags. Victoria and Xander walk into the Karaoke's living room. Maggie gives him congrats on the dismissal of the charges. Xander sarcastically asserts that luck had nothing to do with it when Constantine refers to him as a lucky man. He is not guilty. He sarcastically offers to take Constantine to the airport after overhearing his problems. In the Kiriaki's hallway, Julie grips a glass of wine and laments the disarray and disorderly behavior of her children. Thomas runs forward, snatching her wine from her grasp. As Chad joins them, he apologizes and explains that they are playing hide-and-seek. Julie and Chad talk about how stacked against each other they are in the mansion and the impending cold front. At the Horton cabin, Johnny and Chanel have returned from a hike. They start talking about their trip in Italy after he pours them some wine. He serves her their favorite dinner as a surprise. Johnny goes outside to find sticks to roast esmores with after they finish their meal. Chanel takes out some metal skewers she discovered and rejects his filthy sticks. Sarah allows Abe to video chat with Paulina on her tablet in the hospital lobby. Paulina responds, lamenting her backlog of work and wrapping up a text. Abe tells her to relax, but Paulina tells him that EJ called a news conference for tomorrow without telling her office. In order to give Abe a call, she disconnects from him. She tells EJ that they need to talk about a few things. Maggie stands up for Constantine's desire to stay in Salem at the Kiriaki's estate. Xander surmises that the Greek criminal organization has made it plain he is unable to return. Maggie is aware that Constantine will be able to come back at the appropriate moment. She is appreciated, and Constantine hopes to take her there someday. Xander points out that she may not have time to travel because she may decide to return to her job at Titan. Maggie encounters Julie as she goes outside to get Victoria a teething ring. Julie, who is overwhelmed, declares that although she enjoys her family, she must leave the house. She is going to leave a note for Doug, who is asleep, and return later tomorrow. She will have a great time, even though she has no idea where she is going. Chad walks through, searching for a Thomas who might be hiding, and Maggie enters the living room again with the teething ring. He is stopped by Xander to discuss work. Xander is frowning, and Chad notices it as he and Constantine head out for an evening stroll. Now that he is free... Xander tells Chad about his intentions to become more involved at the newspaper. Even discovering the identity of his framer is a story he has for him. Chad believes the publication may benefit greatly from this series. When Xander brings up Stefan's arrest, Chad responds, Go nuts if Xander wants to tackle his family drama, but he's staying out of it. He's told about EJ's news presentation by Chad. Before heading off to look for Thomas, he consents to send him the information. Paulina receives a text message from Chanel following their video session. She yells, that isn't going to work for me at all, after reading it. Paulina informs Abe that he went too far by getting in touch with McPherson when they subsequently get back in touch. But because of the treatment, she's grateful he did because her thinking is cloudy. She is, however, primarily fed up with being apart from him. Paulina is informed by Abe about the predicted blizzard that is expected to pass over Smith Island in a few hours. Paulina questions whether Johnny and Chanel ought to return home since that is where they are. Curling up in front of the fire seems like the safest location for them right now, according to Abe. He offers to download magazines for her 
and assures her that he will take care of the house plants. Paulina expresses gratitude to him for being her person and for looking after her so well. He adores her unconditionally. Hiding in a chamber at the Kiriaki's mansion, Thomas becomes bored. Opening drawers, he discovers Constantine's temple card. When Chad walks in, he conceals it behind his back. Chad ushers Thomas out, taking the card with him. He goes on and on about how Salem is the ideal place for him while he and Maggie are sitting on the park bench. He would prefer to make the most of his time there if it is limited. He suggests they dance. Chanel takes off Johnny's shirt as they make out on the cabin couch. The married couple start screaming as Julie staggers in. When Julie understands that this is their honeymoon, Johnny button up his shirt. As she begins to go away, they inform her that the snow prevents her from doing so. She swears to put in earplugs and move aside for them. Victoria is accompanied by Xander to the pub to meet Sarah. He is furious at Constantine and claims that something wasn't quite right. Furthermore, he dislikes Constantine being anywhere close to Victoria. Sarah acknowledges his emotions, but she also makes clear that nothing has changed since Maggie settled Constantine's obligations. Xander is aware that the Greek Mafia is not a one-time event. Everett Lynch, also known as Bobby Stein, will have to cope with a displeased Rafe Hernandez. According to teasers for days, Rafe will pressure Everett to sign the divorce papers in Bobby's name, but Everett doesn't appear to be willing to comply. When Rafe makes an attempt to dissolve her marriage, Jada Hunter, Elia Cantu, who will overhear their heated chat, might be grateful that he tried. Everett will then trick Stephanie Johnson, Abigail Klein, into thinking the hypnosis sessions are beneficial while in reality they are making him sicker. More mayhem is sure to ensue as Bobby's evil side shows its ugly head. Alex Kiriakis will have some challenging news to share about Bella magazine in the interim. Is it possible that Alex will decide to rescind the magazine and remove Teresa from her role? If so, there's a chance Alex will work for Teresa in another capacity. Alex can get nervous if Brady Black offers a new job that involves collaborating closely with him. In the end, Kristen DiMera, Stacey Hayduk, and Stefan will scheme to prevent EJ from becoming the head of DiMera Enterprises. Will Kristen and Stefan's partnership succeed? Given the involvement of two dubious DiMeras, our projections indicate ominous news. According to Days of Our Lives spoilers, pay close attention because the week of April 15th to 19th will have some huge repercussions and some subtle moments. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.